This is the main devices used to control of particular pollutants. Gravitational settling chamber. It, it can be used to, to remove the particle size greater than 50 micrometer. The simplest design and the pressure loss also very less in this type of uh, device. The main disadvantage of this type of uh, devices that is it requires a large space and the collection efficiency is also low. Collection efficiency, efficiency in digit we can say that it is a less than 50 my, um, percentage, less than 50 percentage. Um, and another disadvantage, uh, it only large sized particles are separated out. Let us see the principle of working. It is uh, the emitted gas or the um, pollutant gas when made to pass through a settling chamber. The settling chamber contains inlet and outlet. At the same time, in the middle, we are going to provide it to hoppers. Let us see the figure in the next slide. This is the figure. Uh, represent the gravitational settling chamber. It contains inlet, outlet and dust hoppers. The dirty gas will enter in this uh, cylinder and the particle size is greater than 50 micrometer. Uh, particles will settle in the chamber or drop some of the large sized particles in the chamber under Stokes law. And the clean water or cl sorry clean gas exits in the outlet. This particle, it is going to settle in that dust hoppers. We can uh, clean that dust hopper periodically. Applications. Mainly it, is, uh, it can be used to, to remove the size of particle is greater than 50 micrometer. And it is also uh, considered as a pre-cleaner. Or the first step in the dust control. First, we will attach this uh, equipment, and this equipment will remove uh, the particle size is more than 50 micrometer. Then we will go. We are going to attach the high efficiency collectors in the next stage, next stage. Uh, industrial applications are very limited in this type of control equipments, and we can use these type of equipments to remove the part solar particles from the furnaces and clean, etc. Cyclone separator or collector. Minimum particle size that can be removed from these devices that is in between 5 to 25 micrometer. We can say that the efficiency of this machine or this device that is 50 to 90 percentage. The centrifugal force is the theory behind this device. Let us see in detail about cyclone separator device and it's working. The cyclone collector is specially designed closed chamber in which the velocity of the inlet gas is transformed into spinning vortex and the particles from the gas are thrown out and the centrifugal force. The cyclone consists of vertically spaced cylinder which has an inverted cone attached to the base. So, the particles thrown out on the walls of the chamber slide down to the hopper and are thus removed from that bottom of that chamber. The efficiency of the of a cyclone chiefly depends upon the cyclone diameter. Smaller the diameter, greater is the efficiency because the centrifugal action increases with decreasing radius of a rotation. And the cyclone efficiencies are greater than 90% of the particles with the diameter of 10 micrometer. For the particles with a diameter higher than 20 micrometer, the efficiency is about 
95 percentage and the efficiency of the cyclone can be increased by use of cyclone either in parallel or in series we can arrange in a parallel way or in a series way advantages of these devices are there is uh, it's a relatively inexpensive one and there is no moving parts so we can easily maintain or the low maintenance cost we can easily design this type of devices At the same time we can handle large volumes of gases at temperature up to 90 degrees celsius disadvantages it is used in industries producing larger quantities of gas containing air pollutants like uh, cement or fertilizer plant petroleum refineries etc so this uh, cyclone separator the efficiency is very less for the particle diameter is less than 10 microns that is a main disadvantage then another one is this equipment is subjected to abrasion abrasion uh, means heavy hard sharp edged particles in high concentration moving at high velocity in the cyclone continuously scrap against the wall and can erode the metallic surface that is another disadvantage of this type of device then another disadvantage corrosion if the cyclone is operating below the condensation point and if reactive gases are present in the gas stream then the corrosion problem can occur then another one is build up a dust cake builds up on the cyclone wall especially around the vortex finder at the end of any internal veins and especially if the dust is hydroscopic that it makes severe problem in a, in this devices it is used in industries producing larger quantities of gas bond particulates the industries are cement and fertilizer plants petroleum refineries paper or textile industries uh, work woodworking industries etc and we can use to this uh, uh, devices to separate the dust in dust in disintegration operations also